A big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Hey all hope you all are doing good I have been so inactive with the household cleaning since I had Zain for various reasons and now since Zain is going to turn 4 months in a couple of weeks I decided to get back to tidying up my house little by little It's lunch time and also a very cloudy day here in Bangalore and I wanted to try this recipe of whole wheat naan or atta naan today For that I have taken 2 cups of atta salt pinch of baking powder and baking soda each 2 tablespoon of sugar, 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil, 1 cup of curd. I have asked Parth's help in kneading the dough and he's very good at it. In a small bowl I'll take some chopped coriander leaves few garlic cloves chopped 1 tablespoon of kalonji or nigella seeds for applying on the naan later I'm also going to make butter paneer to go with it For the butter paneer in a pot I will add some butter and let it melt then add some jeera seeds ginger garlic cloves green chilies and some cashews and let it roast well Then add the tomatoes then I will cover and cook that till it's cooked and mushy and then blend it into a fine paste To the same pot I'll add one bay leaf and one stick of cinnamon then add masalas like red chili powder and coriander powder along with some crushed kasuri methi and then I will add the puree that I just made I will also add some water to it according to the consistency I want and then add the cubed paneer pieces to it I will also add some garam masala at the end along with a pinch of sugar and fresh cream. By now the dough will be nice and soft enough and I will start to make the naan. I will try to give it somewhat a naan shape by rolling it oval. Then I will add the mix that I made a while ago and apply on to the rolled dough. Then I will turn it over and generously apply water on the back of the rolled dough. As soon as you put that on the tawa you will see nice bubbles forming on top and because we applied water on the back the dough is going to stick on the pan and you can flip it over like this on the gas to give the naan a tandoor touch
back to the kitchen for cleaning. I will put whatever is left in the fridge and wipe down the gas stove and countertop. I will also clean the sink like I always do after any cooking. Parth has taken a break from his meetings and he is putting the used dishes in the dishwasher. I don't put my fancy pots in the dishwasher, rather hand wash them just to be on the safer side. Since Diwali is next week, I'm going to wash the sofa and cushion covers and along with that do some regular cleaning like vacuuming the carpet and the armchair. I'm also going to wash the dining area cushion covers. I haven't washed it since we moved in here and it's been almost a year. So many of you have asked me how do I manage to do things with the newborn and here's the truth, I take a lot of breaks. I'm going to wash them in the washing machine with some borax powder and laundry detergent. The borax helps to disinfect and also helps to get rid of dirt and stains very effectively. We had a wall clock that we got from IKEA long back and wanted to put it up since the old clock in our living room broke. Also Kaya's cabinet was underutilized because there were no shelves so I decided to get this wired baskets from IKEA to accommodate better. Yeah, 
I will transfer this clothes from her cabinet drawer to this wired basket and keep the drawer free for other things. I also got these two storage baskets for storing her toys. She has collected these Barbies over time and she uses all her creativity in decorating them. <laughs> I have to tidy up Kaya's bed too. She has to wake up at 6 every morning for her school but I'm still trying to teach her to make her own bed in the morning. She has filled her bed with the soft toys and when I asked her to keep them away, she says that they make her feel safe and cozy when she sleeps alone. She is still getting over the fear of sleeping independently, I guess. I sometimes regret buying a white study table for her. However, this one was from IKEA and they mostly have white furniture in their collection. I wanted to make this whole wheat banana muffins for Kaya snacks in school. For that I will use one banana, one egg, one teaspoon vanilla essence, few tablespoon honey, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, pinch of cinnamon powder and one cup of whole wheat flour or atta and some milk to bring it to the right consistency. I will bake them at 160 degrees for 10 minutes. Tonight, Part decided to make dinner. He wanted to have this mutton curry that he had at his friend's house, which took him 4 hours to make it. Without pressure cooking, in Bengali, we call it kosha mangsho. Basically, it is the art of slow cooking the mutton in a pot till it easily breaks off the bone. In a pot, he has added some oil and dropped in the overnight marinated mutton. He marinated the mutton with some salt, haldi, mustard oil, ginger and garlic paste. He also added a bay leaf, cloves, cinnamon stick and cardamom pods. While parts cooking, I was looking after Zain. My abdomen hasn't unfortunately gone back to its place yet and I still look pregnant. I'm still on the road to get back in shape with walks and exercises. 
After the water in the mutton has evaporated and the meat started to turn brown, he added the sliced onions and green chilies. And once it's fried, he will add the tomato puree along with masala like red chilli powder, jeera and coriander powder. Now he will let it slow cook for hours. Stirring in between with some sprinkles of water so that it doesn't stick to the pot. Papa, is your mutton tasty? For anyone who is a non vegetarian, you know how it feels. It's the next day and the morning rush hours has begun. I'm literally running to make Kaya's lunch box. So today I'm packing her some macaroni pasta for lunch, cheese sandwich for breakfast along with some fruits and a dessert. For the cheese sandwich I have grated some cheese to that I'll add chopped onions and coriander leaves. For the pasta, I will add some olive oil to a pot and then add some chopped garlic and the boiled macaroni and then I will add some ready-made pasta sauce along with some salt and pepper. Once it's well coated and fried well, I will add some grated cheese to finish it off. For the sandwich, I'm going to stuff the bread with the cheese filling that I made and toast it in the sandwich maker with some butter. I cut the sandwich in small parts to make it easy for her to eat. I also packed her half an apple sliced and the banana muffin that I made last night. And also some mayo as a sandwich dip. My whole house was in a mess in a lot of areas. Since we moved in into this house, we found out about my pregnancy and after that, I had been so lazy with everything. This is our guest bedroom's one part of the wardrobe which I converted into my linen corner. And I used to dump all my linen in here since we moved and it got to a point that I wasn't able to find anything. So I decided to tidy this place up today. By the way, Kaya made this bracelet for me and it had letters on beads which said BFF and when one of her friends saw this, she was like, Kaya, how can your mama be your best friend? I love how innocent their talks are and enjoy listening to them. While doing the interiors, we made this corner of the cabinet in this way with shelves so that I could transform it into my linen cabinet with many shelves. Just folding them up neatly and arranging them in each shelf made it look so much better.
Now time to tackle my wardrobe. I used to dump clothes in here and there were so many clothes which was worn out and I still kept it thinking I may use it some day but that didn't happen so I'm going to give them away and keep only things that I really wear. This is the drawer where I keep my ethnic wear like kurtas and leggings, palazzos etc. I prefer to hang some of my ethnic wear that I don't want creases on. I'm back in the kitchen to prepare lunch. Our typical regular meals include one dal, two sabzis and sometimes some non-veg if we crave for it. I have put some tur dal to pressure cook. I'm going to make palak dal with that. I'm also going to make raw papaya sabzi since raw papaya is very good for increasing your milk supply. I'm also going to make bindi fry. For the raw papaya sabzi, I will fry the dal fritters or bori in the pressure cooker with some oil. Then add some methi seeds and add the raw papaya. For the palak dal to the same karai where I fried the bhindi, I will add some oil then add jeera seeds and dried red chilies, chopped onions and cubed tomatoes and let it cook. To the raw papaya, once it's fried well, I will add the tomato cubes along with masala like haldi, salt, red chilli powder, jeera and coriander powder. For the palak dal, I will then add the chopped spinach along with masala like salt, turmeric, red chilli powder and coriander powder. Once it's fried well, I will add the cooked dal in it. This is also done. I will add the fried dal fritters and cook for 5 more minutes before switching off the flame. Today Pat's very busy with his back to back meetings so it's just me for lunch. The sofa cover has also dried well. I will put it back. It is so tough to maintain a beige color sofa in a house with two kids, that two newborn and a dog. Only thing I'm thankful about is it is washable so it is still a bit of relief. We may have to change the cushion cover only after a year or so when Zayn grows up a little and makes this his trampoline. I also changed the cushion cover with this floral vibrant once.
the dining area covers have also dried and i will put that back too it was so difficult to put it back that i had to call parth to help me with that i think dry cleaning it would be a better idea since the fit is so snug Finally it's all nice and clean after one whole year and that's it for today guys i hope you found the video motivating thanks for watching and i'll be back with a new video really soon bye bit more about the sponsor for this video Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website It lets you connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts to extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping reconcile and file sales tax and ship items across the globe you can display posts from your social profiles on your website automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too so if this is something that interests you go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch go to squarespace.com/diade to save 10% off on your first purchase of a website or domain